There is a place, not here or there, but somewhere in between. There is a space in the thin air that really can be seen. If you listen and observe, you may be surprised. Some may call it Camelot, or even Paradise. Some may say you cross a bridge, others through a door. But all I know about this place is that I call it Evermore. Evermore. Good evening, sweet spirits. Welcome to the show. My name is Suzanne Sorrell, and I'm the host of the Evermore Paranormal Network. Tonight, we're having a ghost tea party with the team to sit back and join in the fun. Welcome back. So now we're going to talk about becoming a ghost. My first question is, do you think all people or just some people become ghosts? Mm -hmm. I, think, I think all people become ghosts. Mm -hmm. um, my farm, people definitely cross over to something else. Yeah? And so it's um, not just certain people. Mm -mm. There are some good and some bad. Mm -hmm. We know that, yeah. Yeah, I, I think we all go to some realm as a ghost, mm -hmm. but some may go a different direction after right. that. I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's funny because when I wrote this <coughs> question, I actually had always thought, oh, well, just some people become ghosts. But when I thought, when I started reading it, and I go, no, I think we all become ghosts mm -hmm. as well. So my next question is, though, what are the reasons why some, why, I guess, you know, we, if we all become ghosts, not everybody stays around, not everybody is here. Right. So what are some of the reasons you think people stay earthbound versus just going on to that next realm? Some people have unfinished business that they have to stay earthbound to accomplish what it is that they have to, mm -hmm. have to uh, complete before they can cross over. Yep. Yeah, I think that's, I pretty much view it the same. I mean, mm -hmm. <clears throat> say for like more extreme purposes or um, an extreme situation, say somebody got murdered or something, that's unfinished business, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. they, the person who killed them, that's essentially taking this physical life away from them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you would think, well, they want revenge on the person. Or mm -hmm. So I feel like it's an incompleteness of this physical material life. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, nice sudden and too. violent yeah. um, death may, like you're saying, you have to finish something mm -hmm. yeah. to, to complete your life. So maybe that's why you stay here. Some people. Yeah, yeah just some. So we all become ghosts, like from the first question, but some people <coughs> stay longer um, because we're all green, the unfinished business pretty much. Uh, we right. want some people don't know that they're dead. That's true. That's just a good point, too. Yeah. Suddenly from a heart attack or... I, mm -hmm. my, my friend who comes back every, mm -hmm. every um, investigation that we have, um, mm -hmm. she walked around her memorial service. You saw it, right? Yes, yeah. and be walking in between everybody going, I just don't understand it. I keep talking and nobody's listening to me. Mm. Yes, oh wow, I got chills. And she was killed very suddenly, you know, she, and, and she didn't know she was dead. Wow. Exactly. That that is a good yeah. point. Yeah. Mm. Kat, do you have anything to add? No, I've heard that before. And I wonder if like, do we have a choice? Well, that's our next that's, question. That's, Hold on. that's the next question. <laughs> Thank you. It, it just popped in my well, head. You yeah. just read my mind, but before we go on to the, uh -oh. that's the next question, I'm going to come to you first. But I was just going to say when you say when people don't know they died, you know, a lot of times kids mm -hmm. Are ghosts we see spirits and I know sometimes they're not yeah. really kids yeah but people go why are kids here you would yeah. think they just go right on you know why would yeah. they be they don't know they're yeah. gone they're looking mm -hmm. you know 
as well as sometimes yeah. animals. They don't know. Mm -hmm. well, they don't know, so they're going to hang around what they know. But as for choice, that's my next question, <laughs> Mr. Psychic over there. <laughs> Do you think we have a choice to stay earthbound as a ghost or depart? Do we have a choice to be a ghost or not? I feel like that's a, a bit, I mean, once again, it's kind of an individual thing. I feel like that's somewhat of a debatable topic, just based on the individual. Mm -hmm. But I mean, personally, I think we might. Yeah. But <clears throat> I feel like it's also what you do in this physical life that that's, ultimately decides. That's what I, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah. So what, what you did here may determine what happens after that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when mm -hmm. God have his <coughs> hand into this. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Uh, like I say, on my farm, mm -hmm. um, I had the feeling right from the beginning that there were a lot of trapped souls there. Mm -hmm. And when I had the property blessed, the very next night, and we've got pictures of it, um, not the night that the minister was there, but the following night, mm -hmm. the woods by the garage in back of the little White House mm -hmm. um, lit up like it was daylight. And you can see a semicircle of not details, just shafts of light, but you can see the, the people. Mm -hmm. And they held their crossing over ceremony the following night. Wow. And you can see it, some are ascending, some are on the ground. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. It I, is. Wow. I want to see that. You took pictures, right? Yeah. I don't think I've yeah. ever seen yeah. them. No, I, I, don't, I don't have them personally, but my wow. tenant has them. Well, as for me and the choice to stay earthbound or depart, um, this came up in a class I was taking with actually um, Paranormal State, the show. Ryan Buell was having classes, and I and um, I never thought of that. I never thought, well, do we have a choice? And and I do I do think we have a choice to a, to yeah, an extent. To an extent, because yeah. we're humans, we have free will. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have free will living. We have free will when we pass on. Mm -hmm. But obviously, you know, we don't hold all the, we, we don't have the full say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But I kind of think, so my next question is, would you stay or go if you have a choice? And I guess I'll start with this. Um, it depends. Right now, I was thinking about this. Would I stay or go if I have a choice? Well, I, all my family's passed on except for Jim. And if Jim's still alive, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to stay because I don't want to leave Jim. But if I'm the last one standing, if Jim goes before me and it's just me, um, I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go. All my loved ones, I cannot wait to be with them again, see them, and you know, so that's my answer for would I stay or go. I've already told my family that if they sell my property for development, mm -hmm. I will haunt them the rest oh. of the world. <laughs> oh, no. um, you can put that in your will that they can't do I that. Know, I know. I'm gonna People put it do it all the time. I'm going to put it into trust most likely. but mm -hmm. um, An easement or something that yeah, they cannot yeah. develop that property. Yeah. And, um, but um, I know now from experience that, like I say on this farm, that they come and go. Mm -hmm. They're here sometimes. My dad has been there several times when I've had trouble with tenants, mm -hmm. and he shows up. Mm -hmm. um, and my grandmother, when I brought the Holy Family out, um, the ceramic Holy Family that's under mm -hmm. the holly tree, um, my Eastern European Orthodox Jewish grandmother, um, when I brought Jesus and the Holy Family out, um, I took a picture in the barnyard one night, and there she was glaring at the Holy Family. Mm. And I went, sorry, Grandma, Jesus was a Jew, whether you want to accept it or not. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> How about you guys? Stay or go? So you're, you're, what are you saying? You can come and go? You're not going to leave? No, no. I'll be here sometimes, yeah. and I'll be gone others. Yeah. Only what God, I think, if he wants me there, yeah. I'll yeah. be there, because I'll have faith yeah. that he'll take provide from the rest exactly. of my family. Exactly, yeah. I think you? we could come and go as well. Mm -hmm. I, I know if I were to stay, it would be um, probably something unfinished. Yeah. Yes. Or yeah. just checking on family, even. Yeah. Exactly. You? Stay or go? Yeah. Um, You're not going to leave. If I was, no, no. That, that, well, <laughs> you got to say the same thing I no, said. No, I agree. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree with what you said. Cause I need and you. A, you know, and, and when you're younger, too, you. You know, you, you haven't experienced life enough, so you won't experience life. Yeah. And when you get older, and you, if you don't have any 
um, close family, friends, right. loved ones, then you don't what's, really what's mind. Yeah, yeah, you don't mind. So well, that was you know to stay <coughs> or go. Again, I agree with all of you. You know, I'm gonna like I said, I'll stay if Jim's here. If I can stay as much as possible, but I do agree with you all that we can. That's the next question, actually, but that we can come and go. Mm -hmm. um, like when they when when you're when we're talking about your friend when you're talking about your friend yeah. she's around yeah. when I'm talking about mom she's around mm -hmm. and my mom I have to say this though I think when my mom died she stayed with me she was around a lot the first year and it just kind of diminished and then at the fifth year which was just this past May I didn't celebrate her birthday and I told her hey mom you know it's time you go don't be here taking care of me anymore. Mm -hmm. I love you enough to let you go. And do you know it's been very obvious that she's not around like mm -hmm. she was. Mm -hmm. So my next question was if you, and we probably already answered this, but do you think, if you choose to be a ghost, do you think it's permanent? Like once a ghost, always a ghost. But we just kind of answered that. Mm -hmm. It's like, well, we can be a ghost if we want to mm -hmm. be, right? Mm -hmm. So anybody have any thoughts on that before we go take a, another break? I pretty much agree with all the same. Yeah. I mean, I know when my grandmother passed away last year, mm -hmm. um, I mean, even speaking at her funeral, I read Psalms in the Bible, something mm -hmm. like that. And I mean, the entire time, I know my grandmama's still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, she's always with me and my mom, but yeah. even uh, talking at her funeral, I mean, her body's right there. Yeah. And here I am talking to the microphone. Right. And even, like, spiritually, I know she's there. Definitely. Always. Yes. Okay, well, we're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back. But anyway, we're having so much fun talking about being dead, and we just can't wait to keep going. So now we're going to talk about being a ghost. We're all dressed like ghosts tonight, and how you know somewhat how we think a ghost looks like. But my first question is: So, what do you think it's like being a ghost? Like a day in the life of a ghost? That's such a wrong statement. A day in the life. <laughs> yeah. I'll have to say I think it's boring. <laughs> I think it's boring. I think I mean I just think I, I don't have any patience. Yeah. And I'm just like, oh gosh, anybody? You know, nobody's. Well, what do you guys think? I don't think there's any concept of time. Excuse me. Um, yeah. And I think, um, I I think of freedom. Uh -huh. Freedom to go wherever I want to go. Mm-hmm. Um, to visit whomever I want to visit. Wow. And, um, okay. Um, you know, and if I choose to stay up in heaven, not come down, then fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm glad you guys yeah. have different perspectives on it. I'm just, I just don't have any patience, yeah. and I'm just being well, you, frustrated. You, it's timeless. You can go somewhere, anywhere you want in the world. That's true. Say, no, yeah, I like to get back at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Get back at somebody, yeah. Yeah, but or. Anybody else have a I think it, thought it about probably that? is kind of just like material life, like this life. I think it is what you make it. Mm -hmm. What you make so, it. So, I mean. This is, this like is our 17 year old, and how deep he thinks that. <laughs> He's way behind his years. I mean. <coughs> I think Almost you 18. could too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel like you can just do whatever you want pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, I agree. It's the concept of time probably doesn't exist. So mm -hmm. you're not going to get bored. You, you know, you're going to do what you want to do. And, ah, and you yeah, won't realize that, that See, it may have taken you. you 100 years to do what you wanted to do, but mm -hmm. you're not going to realize it, you know. You walk through walls if you want to. <laughs> well, that's the name. You just started on the next question, Kat. You just picked the, the lead of the next question. I said, I what, are your what are some of the cool attributes mm -hmm. of being a ghost? Walk through walls. Walk through walls. Yeah? Man. Or float through walls. You can pull some really epic pranks on people. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. yes, yes, yes. Or float through the air. <laughs> any, other, any other cool attributes of being a ghost I that we can't do now? I could finally fly. Exactly. Yes. Fly. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can, can do things. I yeah, you can do things bad, and no one will ever know it was you. Oh, <laughs> right. He's been good his whole life. <laughs> Jim's been a good guy his whole life. Now he wants to That's be right. bad. That's, That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, if you all could choose a superpower, um, you know, one of the superpowers of being a ghost, what would you choose and why? 
I said earlier that um, I'd be invisible. Now, and how I'd, about you guys? I'd be the freedom to be able to go wherever I want to go, see whoever I want to see. That's what I would do, and fly. That sounds cool. Yeah. I think it'd be cool to change to anything I wanted to be, like a bird or a cat. Wow, that's great. Mm. Or a cat. Yes, yeah, definitely. If you're not a cat, I don't know what. I'd be <laughs> insulted. Mm -hmm. Right. How about you? Anybody else on the? No, I'm pretty much the same with cat. Cat? I like that one. You want to be a cat? No, I'm joking. <laughs> no, I want to like, change <laughs> anything I want, you know. Yeah. So we were talking about um, what would be the worst thing of being a ghost. And I would say not being able to physically hug my loved ones that are still here. Mm, I agree. Um, interact with them like I'd want to. Mm -hmm. I guess not getting anybody to, to listen to what I had to say. That's true. Yes, that would be if they frustrating. If they weren't sensitive to the energy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. How about anybody else on the worst thing? Um, everyone thinks that you're going to see your loved ones when you get to the other side and maybe you don't. You know? Right. And how's that going to make you feel <laughs> when you don't have anyone you know, that should be there or anyone that that you left and you can't have any communication with them, so that really would make you sad, you know, not, would. not having that available to you. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would say, um, I mean, it's a very regularly asked question, but, um, you know, kind of having that question asked over and over, well, what happens after you die? And um, kind of like I said earlier, I feel like there's something that might be partially controlling Mm -hmm. of what the spirits say or not say, but maybe it's just their own will. They're kind of leaving that for us to experience to a mm -hmm. point, but I mean, there could be something telling them what to say and what not to say. But Yeah, it yeah. seems like, like a gatekeeper thing, yeah. you know, a, yeah, somebody over them, yeah. you know, right. like their supervisor kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, so what what, it, what does a ghost look like, and how would you present yourself to the living? Um, I, for, we, we, we've all seen ghosts, and I know Wendy's seen a lot of them at her farm, but um, I would present myself uh, definitely thinner. That I know. I would love, I can't drop that, I'd love to drop 100 pounds. So when you see me, I will be skinny, <laughs> and um, I'll probably be younger. Yeah. Um, but... No, I'm truthfully, I'm happy as aging, yeah. you know, yeah. I'm, I'm fine with getting older. It's part yeah. of, part of uh, learning. Yeah. But yeah. how about you, Wendy? I, I probably would look younger because um, that, that was happier time in my life and, and that's the time I'd like to remember. Mm -hmm. And, um, um, but I look just like me. Mm -hmm. How about y'all? Yeah, same image. Um, I think everyone was probably younger mm -hmm. when I present myself. Um, mm -hmm. Pretty much like I was. Mm -hmm. Opaque or transparent. <laughs> <laughs> pasty? Yeah. Pasty. <laughs> <laughs> it would be me. How about you? It'll be you. I'll know it's you, right? No? You're not? Are you going to have, uh, let me just say, would you have all the hair again, like dark hair, sure. and that mullet you had when I met no, you? I don't know about the mullet. <laughs> <laughs> he had a mullet, and he had a one of those tails too. The long no. oh, was there, wow, the yeah. long tail. Oh, nice. I have it somewhere. When he cut it off, I, I kept it. It's a <laughs> memoir. How about you all? What do you want to look like? You two. I want to be, my thirties. Mm -hmm. Hair down to my feet. <laughs> wow, really? Rapunzel. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. That, my hair is pretty long, and it's not not it's it's not very fun to have it that long. I choke on it every night, and if it's down to your, <laughs> it, I do. I have to pull it up. I'm like, eh. Uh, up. Yeah, I get twisted, and if it's down to your feet, well, you know, going to the restroom will be a pain. <laughs> <laughs> will be a pain. Yeah. You know, my so I'm just telling right? you. <laughs> How about you, Gabe? Um. Mostly because I like the Victorian era. Um, I would probably be in a Victorian era um, style tuxedo and probably a Victorian, uh, you know, era like top hat or something. Kind of like Abraham Lincoln in a sense. Oh, okay. <laughs> Except like in. Except for yeah. Abraham in it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have, 
<laughs> yeah, I have to say, Gabe, I have, speaking of that, I have a tin type that I got. I don't know where I got it from. Mm -hmm. And it's from that time period, and it looks like you. I got to show you someday. I look at it and go, oh, uh, this is Gabe. Wow. This is Gabe. That's I showed weird. you. It's on one of the episodes when I brought in because I think it actually is uh, haunting me. Definitely but, it, oh, man. So, to end this segment, I want to talk about what do you think? We, we, talk, we all know we talked earlier about what ghosts look like, um, but what do ghosts sound like? And, like I said, we saw a movie recently called Heredity, and the girl that passed away in the movie, the little girl, she used to do the tongue clicks, you know. <laughs> So when she passed away, she was letting her brother know. You'd hear the tongue click. Mm -hmm. What would you do to let people know that, you know, hey, it's me? And I, and I, I said, well, I'd be singing probably Angel by Sarah McLaughlin. That's what I'd be doing. How about y'all? Meow like a cat. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, cat, right. <laughs> Changing her story. And she, uh, <laughs> anybody? What do you, is there something that you I do? I have a distinctive or, smell. Oh, no. <laughs> a distinctive smell. Have we smelled it before? Oh, yeah. <laughs> is it going to be sweet? <laughs> Tell me it's going to be sweet. No, no, it's me. <laughs> what are you talking about? Woody, at the oh, recent Woody. thing, yeah. and when you were smelling him, and you go, yeah. you don't want to smell that, but I know it's yeah. Woody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, so yeah. goodness gracious, Wendy's going to sneak us out. Right? <laughs> How about you guys? Fast. I'm going to leave Kat for the last one because we know what she's going to do. Fast guitars no. for, fast guitars. for metal. <laughs> yeah, fast guitars. How about you, Jim? Uh, if I can, I'll make a gun sound, bang. A or, bang or sound? Or a loud, just a loud noise a loud. of some kind. Oh, like we were talking earlier. You know, the deer anything. going... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> or, the, or, the go, or the deer snort, deer or, snort. Goat, or goat, or the goat going or the what? Goat. Was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and cat, we talked yeah. earlier about you know you're known your world record a burping, <laughs> world record burper. Can you please honor us with one for the camera? <laughs> she can do it on command, by the way. You need a drink first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, when Cat's gone and I'm an iron horse and I hear somebody burping in my ear, I'll go, Cat, you know. shut the... <laughs> <laughs> shut the as door. As long as it doesn't smell like Wendy's going to smell. <laughs> <laughs> it it smell. smell. If you notice, we all pick different things. So, this has been great. So, thank you for watching the Evermore Paranormal Network. Until next time, peace, peace out. out. Sleeping 
So in the end, what have I said is only that I'm sure For all I know about this place is that I call it evermore 